Relationships are not always easy. The butterflies we feel for someone, they can swiftly fly away if we ignore, disregard, and neglect their beauty. A loving relationship needs caring, proper attention, and tenderness. It thrives in an environment of belonging and sincere appreciation. For a relationship to last, our hearts must be willing and our minds committed to only one partner and no other. Welcome to the secrets to a lasting relationship. Are you new to our channel? We're happy you've joined us. This is Trends for All Seasons. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support us by sharing and continue enjoying content like this one here. The heart can be a complicated part of our being. It wants, it wishes, it longs, it loves, and desires. The brain, on the other hand, doubts, worries, analyzes, searches, and it looks for things that many times are not quite there. It also has the annoying habit of always wanting to be right and to have its own way. These two parts of our body are often at a tug and war with one another. One is like a child. Whenever it sees something it likes, it just goes right after it right there and then. The brain is like a grumpy old person. It notices all the itty-bitty imperfections all the time. It works overtime at trying to find the similarities of any new thing with something in our past. Relationships need a balance of love and logic. The balance between these two can, at times, spawn certain emotions of tension within us and with our loved ones whenever these two are not in tune with one another. If the brain thinks it knows best and the heart believes it knows better, this unstable equilibrium may lead someone in a relationship to not feeling in harmony with their significant other. A long-lasting relationship needs our brains and hearts to be at ease and feel at peace. To do so, we need to work on building a strong positive belief, image, and confidence of our partner, minimizing our doubts. A long-lasting and loving relationship needs more than just the original looks and the aura that attracted us to them. For a relationship to last, it needs more than the comfort of their embrace or the excitement felt when we touch their skin or the fragrance of their enchanting aroma. A loving relationship needs mutual support, loyalty, affection, and trust. Relationships are bound to have their ups and downs. No one likes harsh winters in a relationship, but these winters are sure to show up sooner or later. When hard times come, the strong bonds you build, the understanding of what values are of most importance to you and those of your partner is what holds a relationship together when they arrive. Just as a palm tree swings and sways as it endures strong winds, so must a long-lasting, loving relationship. When these tsunamis come, couples who fail to stand firm next to one another in full support may become aware that they lack something essential. Several essential foundations need to be built from the very start for a long-lasting relationship. When these foundations are not present, a simple fight along the way might be enough for a couple to fall apart. And if the argument is a very challenging one, a couple lacking strong roots may find themselves disoriented, lost, and with a feeling of, why am I in this spot again? I just don't get it, kind of question. Having this type of doubt can be hard to endure and overcome. And one of the many reasons why some couples are unable to make it through and stay together. Love is a mysterious thing. The best way some of us can explain it to anyone is by saying that it is a marvelous sensation running through every part of our very being, but that it can also be a scary feeling. If being in a loving relationship brings more meaning and beauty to our lives, then why would it be scary? Is it scary because now there's a way we can easily be hurt? or be driven to do things we otherwise would not do for that person or us? Hmm, it is possible. Experts say that the most important thing between two loving partners is to have open lines of communication and be willing to understand and compromise when it's needed. They also state a couple should dialogue often, striving to understand each other's different points of view and opinions. 
Having proper communication is about what is being said and how it's being said at the time of saying it. Yes, there is a difference. It is important to have a wide variety of thoughtful conversations, leaving behind the superficial chat about the weather, the bumps and thuds of your day, and the common what's for dinner type of questioning. For conversations to be meaningful and personal, the subjects and topics need to be of things we usually don't discuss with other people. This is our partner, remember. We need to bring forth the real us from within us. We need to ask insightful questions. Questions like, where would you like to be in five years from now? Or how would you like for us to improve our relationship in the near future? Get to know each other well. You'll be surprised how many couples don't do this fundamental and necessary practice. It is also important for each partner to truly listen and not interrupt the train of thoughts of the other partner when the conversation is flowing, especially when it is of significant value. Instead of interrupting, wait for the right moment to ask questions, to find out more of what your partner truly means and desires to share with you in case you need some clarification. And remember, listening and hearing are two very different things. Listening is always your goal when this scenario arises. When you listen, your focus is entirely on striving to understand your partner's dilemmas, concerns, ideas, thoughts, feelings, doubts, and fears. It's no easy task. But when you care for your significant other, it's a requirement that is needed as much as frequently showing and expressing your affection, your caring, and your support for one another. Do you want to know some of the most common mistakes to avoid with your significant other? Whether we do them consciously or unconsciously, we all have been guilty of making some of these careless mistakes. The first one is trying to impose our criteria, beliefs, and opinions on our partners, presuming that our points of view are better than theirs. Another one is constantly bringing up our partner's defects or imperfections. Every human being has several flaws, but that doesn't mean we get to point them out and complain about them all the time or in an exaggerated way. Next, wanting our partners to be just how we want them to be, to behave and act according to the image in our eyes of how a significant other is supposed to be and behave. The movies are the movies, and those stories of romance found in novels are just that. Someone's made up, happily forever after stories. From there we have showing little interest in our partner's views, beliefs, or preferences. Neglecting to acknowledge their thoughts and their desire to convey or contribute to the conversation is a bad habit to have. Not allowing your partner to express himself or herself makes your partner feel like you're taking them for granted. And that could have a profound effect as it may hurt their feelings and lead them to distance themselves from you, thus creating more friction and dissatisfaction. When you open the road of dissatisfaction in a relationship, the longer it goes on, the more challenging it will become for you to bring them back by your side. Agreeing when you don't truly agree may lead to a lack of trust by your partner as they never really know whether your thoughts and opinions are genuine and honest. And this lack of sincerity can make a relationship lack reliability, accountability, and confidence. The result of inadequate communication between partners can weaken a relationship. And this weakness, when not dealt with appropriately, could be a major contributing factor for a significant other to decide to go away. One of the books we recommend on how to enjoy a relationship that lasts is The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Find the link to this book in the video description below. Do you want to know a secret of how to improve your communication with your partner? Be assertive. Assertiveness is a form of communication through which one seeks clarity and conciseness of description of what one truly believes, thinks, and feels. Practicing assertiveness will help you express your needs in your relationship, and you will properly understand and fulfill the ones of your partner. Doing this will also nurture your relationship, 
by allowing you both to express freely and confidently your intimate wants, wishes, and desires. Practice expressing your joy, pleasure, and appreciation of them as often as possible. Compliment them on their gifts, endowments, and positive qualities. Give them genuine admiration about their personality, appearance, vocations, preferences, and passions. Compliments are a great way to boost your partner's confidence, thus creating a loving environment. Whenever your partner gives you their compliments in return, accept them with loving expressions and heartfelt excitement. Be sincere in your actions. When no to a response is necessary or required, being able to say no, it's crucial to a long-lasting relationship. Wherever a couple is unafraid and free to state their opinions and stance on a particular doing, action, or preference, it strengthens the bonds between you both. Be tender in your response, but be firm and stay true to your character. Being true to each other, speaking your mind, and stating your freedom of choice, regardless of the confrontations that may arise, deserve to be respected and honored. Remember that the responsibility of saying no is yours and yours alone. Don't let peer pressure or other motives when in public come in between you and your loved one. If you are not comfortable with something, find the privacy and space needed to communicate to your partner that you are not okay with a particular matter and you wish your decision to be supported. A lot of couples assume their significant other knows how they feel or what they are thinking or what they meant by what they said when they were talking about a particular topic. But this is not always the case. It is true, the more you get to know each other, the less you will have to explain all these. In any event, make it a habit to ask your partner if you have made your point come across crystal clear whenever it seems necessary. Each relationship is unique, and even with good communication lines open and mutual respect, it doesn't mean you will never have any relationship problems. We all live in our own little world, and this world of ours, when shared with someone we care for and trust, is a magnificent place to live when it's in peace and harmony. A loving couple that wishes to have a long-lasting relationship needs to get to know one another truly well. They need to have constant communication of what's on their minds and souls and to remember to nourish their love daily. Long-lasting relationships require a lot of effort, patience, and understanding. When love is present, the willingness of the heart and mind are already there. What we need to do from that point on is to fill in the missing pieces to constantly build the essential bonds that strengthen and support and to lay down the firm foundations that bring a loving relationship to share their worlds. What could be more beautiful than to have a loving relationship last you a lifetime? Thank you for watching our video. Tell us which part you enjoyed the most and share it with our community in the section below. Check out our other video, The Secret to a Long Life of Love and Happiness, that complements this message. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, ring the bell to our channel, and we will see you back again on our next video. Cheers!